We're gonna go ahead and get started. It's Tuesday, April 9th, and we're gonna start in our chair as usual. I'm super excited to be back into my space where I have more room. <laughs> so, all right, so a towel if you have one. To, we're focusing on flexibility, posture, stretching. We will do a little bit of a kind of a cardio segment in standing, but not, not too much. And, I'll show modification. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. So, we're going to start in our chair with our feet wide apart, giving ourselves this nice wide base of support. Good. And we'll start with just some deep breaths. We're going to breathe in and then blow it out through your mouth. Let's do that again in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, up as high as you can go, in through your nose, and out. Good, all right, roll the shoulders back, big shoulder rolls. One, two, three, four, and five. Now forward, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. Go ahead and put your hands on your lap. Just relax your shoulders. We're gonna stretch your neck. You're gonna look up towards the ceiling, really feeling that stretch and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Now look down to the floor. Try to keep your chest tall. Though when you do this and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Look straight ahead. Good. Turn your head. Look over one shoulder as far as you can and hold it here. One two, three, four, five. All right, the other direction, turn and look and hold that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, and then straight ahead. Good, okay, bring those hands out in front. Stretch your fingers out. You, this is a good opportunity to really look at your hands. How wide can you get your fingers apart and hold? One, two, three, four, five. Now squeeze those shoulder blades together. Stick that chest out and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Bring those hands out in front again. All right, now from here, you're just gonna reach down to the floor as far as you can go and hold this stretch. One, two, three, four, five. And then up to the ceiling, keeping those hands spread out nice and big as far as you can go. One, two, three, four, five, and then out really big, squeezing those shoulder blades together a bit and hold one, two, three, four, five. Good, go ahead and put your hands on your knees, the inside of your knees, I should say, and pull your knees apart and lean forward, stretch the inside of your legs here. Let's hold one, two, three, four, five. Sit up really tall. Good. One more time. Come forward. Pull those knees apart and hold the stretch. One, two, three, four, five, and sit up tall. Good. All right. Let's do your hamstring. You're going to take one leg, straighten it out. Try to get that heel to hit and then lean forward, keeping that knee straight, feeling a stretch behind your knee and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, let's switch to the other leg, get that foot out and come on forward and hold. One, two, three, four, five, back up. All right, now foot goes on opposite knee like this. If you can't get that foot up there, you can just cross your feet. Maybe you have to grab onto that pant leg and then lean forward and hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, let's switch to the other leg up. All right, and lean forward and hold one, two, three, four, five, back down. All right, feet are right apart, one more, and then we'll go to our power moves. You're gonna take your trunk and twist it behind you as far as you can go. Grabbing the chair, getting a little extra pull here, and hold one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go the other direction. Twist as far as you can go and hold one, 
two, three, four, five, and then back in front. All right, good. Okay, feet are wide apart. Hands on your knees. Okay, we're gonna do our power up. We're gonna hold each a power up position for five seconds, a few of them that way. So hands on your knees, come forward as far as you can. Power up, open up those hands, squeeze that chest, and we're gonna hold it for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that again, come down, power up, open up those hands, squeeze the chest, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. One more time, come down as far as you can. Power up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift that chest up and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Hands on your knees. We're going to do 10 in a row without pausing. So go as big as you can. Ready? Come down. Power up. One. Down and up. Big two. And you can count out loud. Three at home. Good. Down and up. Four. Down and up. Five. Down and up six, down and up, seven, down and up, eight, down and up, big nine, down and up, big ten. Good. All right. Now our rock. So let's just start by shifting your weight side to side. How can you tell if you're shifting your weight far enough? So if you shift your weight, can you fit your hand under your hip? Test it out. Are you touching your, <laughs> see if you shift up high enough that you can actually put that hand under there without touching your bottom. <laughs> kind of a nice test here. Under, good, and under. All right. We're gonna rock and reach to your left and hold it. So you're gonna rock and reach and hold it. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go the other direction. Rock and reach and hold, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that one more time. So rock and reach up big, as big as you can go. One, two, three, four, five. And then one more time to your right. Rock and reach and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Back down. All right, feet stay wide. We're doing 10 in a row. Let's start to your left. Ready? We're going to rock and reach. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Okay, our twists. Open up those arms. So feet are still nice and wide. Let's start with your right hand and then lift up your right heel because it will let you pivot that foot a little bit more. So you're gonna pivot that foot, come around and clap those hands together. Let's hold this position, give everyone time to get here for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then come back to this big open position. So left heel lifts, you can pivot that foot around, twist and clap and hold. One, two, three, four, five and then open up big. All right, now let's do 10 in a row. Ready? Let's twist and clap. One, open, two, open, three, open, four, open, five, open, six, open, twist and clap, seven, open, good, eight, open, nine, open last one 10 and open and relax okay that was a lot of upper body twists let's work on our lower body a little bit our hips so starting with your right knee you're going to lift that heel up and pivot around as best as you can trying to get that knee to push down towards the floor so your whole body's turning so just do the best you can with that whatever range you have holding the stretch now from this position if you can, you're going to take that back foot and try to push it back. Get that knee as straight as you can. You're pushing that knee back. See how straight you can get your knee. And we're going to hold this for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's come back in front. 
All right, same thing with your left. You're gonna pick that heel up and then do the best you can to pivot that foot around so the knee points down to the floor, whatever range you have. So if you have a stretch here, just stay here. Or if you can, you're gonna to try to wiggle that foot back, push that knee as straight as you can back. And you're gonna get a little bit more of a stretch here. Let's hold for five, one, two, three, four, five, and then come back. All right, so bring those feet back in. We're gonna do 10 steps. We're just gonna start with 10 steps in a row. So start with, um, it doesn't matter which foot you wanna start with. I'm gonna start with uh, my right, my left. I mean, ready, let's step it out big. One, together. Step two, three, big step four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more time, and 10. Good. Okay, step those feet out wide. And if you have a towel handy, you're going to go ahead and grab your towel. We're going to work on a little bit more stretching of our upper body and then lower body here. All right. So tomorrow is, no, Thursday, I should say. Today's Tuesday. Thursday is the, our sit to stand challenge. I don't know if Kim is going to do that, but Thursday, you guys, try to challenge yourself. How many sit to stands can you do? <laughs> That's on Thursday. National sit to stand challenge. Okay, we have this towel in front. You're gonna keep it tight, as tight as you can. Feet are wide. You're just gonna go down to the floor as far as you can, and then bring it up as high as you can. It could be here, or it could be all the way up, whatever range you have. That's one. Come down, and all the way up big, two down and up three now not so fast four it's really just control we're really just working on stretching everything out five down up big six down up big seven eight good up big nine and last one up big and ten and now we're going to do our trunk twist put it out in front keeping it tight you're going to twist behind you as far as you can go back in front and then the other direction let's do ten so we're going to twist and come back in front that's one keep going twist in front two twist three, four, good, five, trying to get those hips to turn, six as best as you can, seven, eight, couple more, nine, one more, and ten, good, and rest. All right, you might need to bring your feet closer a little closer we're going to do our kayak so we're imagine you're holding a paddle you're going to kayak one side of your body then the other side okay we're doing 20 total so one two three would be a nice day to be in the water huh four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, you gotta keep going, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Good. All right, bring those feet back apart wide. We're gonna go back to our shoulders a little bit. So. We're going to do circles with our towel so you're holding it tight so if you have this much range you're going to do 10 circles like this if not just do whatever range you have maybe it's here go as far as what you can go or start up here all right you ready let's do 10 so come down and then all the way back up one 
as big as you can go. Two, three, four, five. Good. Make big circles. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And ten. And rest those shoulders. Hi, shoulders are feeling it too, huh? <laughs> Rest them for a second. We're gonna go the other direction. So when we're ready, all right, back up as high as you can go, and then the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, good job, nine, and ten. Nice. All right, relax those arms. Okay, so if you're here with your towel, you're going to push it forward as far as you can go, maybe feeling in your hips, right? You want to get that weight forward and then squeeze it back to your chest. All right, so we're going to do ten of those. So, so Push it forward as far as you can go and then squeeze it back one. So really leaning forward and coming up back two. Come forward, squeeze back three, forward, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good all right so we're going to work our legs a little bit now so depending on how your shoulders are feeling here's what it looks like you're going to come up as high as you can and you're going to bring it down and touch your knee back up high touch your knee or you can just start here right and just lift like this so here's your other option we're going to be doing something like this similar in standing so <laughs> That would be your modification. So start as high as you can. We're gonna do 20. So bring it down and meet it, lift one, back up big, two, up big, three, four, five, and push it up, six, up, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, good, keep going, 14, looking good, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That's kind of like a little shoulder strengthening too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do um, a shoulder stretch. We've done this before, but I'm gonna turn this around. Oh geez, <laughs> slid right out of my chair. <laughs> All right, so holding it in one hand like this, I'll show modifications. Well, you're gonna bring it behind your back and then try to grab it be, be, with the other hand at the bottom. So this is the one where you're drying off your back like with the towel. If you don't have that range, you can just keep it in front and do it this direction. Otherwise, try to get it behind. All right, and you're going to pull up and down 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's switch to the other hand. So the other hand's going to grab it. Okay, so if you can't get it behind your back, just stay in front and go up and down like this. Otherwise, try to get it behind your back and then grab it with the other hand behind. Okay, so same thing. You're pulling up and pulling down 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and relax good all right we're gonna do one more stretch here 
You're, you're right here like this, right? Okay. So you're going to lift up and try to get it behind your head without pulling your head forward and then come in front. All right. So if you don't have that range, what you're going to do is just lift it up and down like this, right? Up and down. Otherwise, you're going to lift up and behind. That's one. Bring it back in front. Up and behind, two. In front, staying tall, three. Bring those shoulders back, four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Couple more. Nine. And one more. And ten. Good. All right. Our shoulders are stretched and maybe tired. <laughs> you can take this towel and just put it to the side for now. Good. All right. I'm going to scoot back so you all can see me. We're going to do our sit to stands next. All right. We're going to do two sets of 10 for our sit to stand. So you're at the edge of your chair. If you don't want to come to a complete stand, I've always said, just think about shifting your weight forward and then coming back tall. If you don't want to come all the way up, we're doing two sets of 10. We're going to start with 10 rests and do another set. So get your feet positioned. So they're slightly behind your knees like this. So not out in front, pull those feet back behind you, underneath you. All right. Okay, here we go. Hands on your chair if you need it. Otherwise, you're going to shift your weight forward and you're going to power up really big one and then lower yourself down. Good. All right, let's keep going. Two and go at your pace as big as you can go. Three. If you need to go faster, go faster. Or if you need to go slower, slow it down. Four. Just be safe. Come up big. Five. Forward up, big six, seven, forward up, big eight, forward up, big nine, one more, ten, and rest. We've got another set of ten. Since I'm not with you on Thursday for our sit to stand challenge, we'll do a few today. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Make sure your feet are in position. 10 more. Same thing. Here we go. Forward power up big. One. Lower yourself down. Two. And down. Three. And down. Forward power up big. Four. Five. Good, shift that weight forward, power up, big six. Again, if you're just sitting, you're coming forward and then back, seven. Forward up, big eight. Forward. One, forward up, big, and down, 10. Good. So if you wanna get some cardio in, think about that, you could do like, multiple sets of 10 of sit to stand definitely will get your heart rate up all right we're going to transition to standing so for those of you that want to stand one more big power up and stand we'll get our chair in position stay in the chair if you need to otherwise we're gonna go to standing we'll do standing then our last position will be on our back today so all right, have your chair close if you need it for balance. So feet are wide apart. We're gonna start with our power up and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. So looks like we're ready, everyone's ready. Okay, hands in front, we're ready. A little squat down and then a big power up, hold it. Squeeze your shoulder blades together for five. One, two, three, four, Five, let's do that again. Down and then power up big and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're gonna do 10 in a row. So get ready, hands in front. 
Here we go. Down and power up. One and two. Get ready and power up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down, power up, big nine. Last one and ten. Good. All right. Rocking side to side, <coughs> shifting your weight. So as you rock, notice your heel will come up a little bit. It should come up just a little bit to get that weight shifted over. All right, we're gonna rock and reach to your left and hold it. So rock and reach to your left, hold this position. Look at your hand and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's come down, let's go the other direction, rock and reach to your right, look at your hand and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five, and come back down. All right, feet stay wide apart. We're doing 20 in a row without pausing. So these are soft, we're ready. Let's start to your left. <laughs> rock and reach. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Okay. We need to get moving a bit there, right? <laughs> Open up those arms bigger. Twist. Same thing we did in sitting, starting with your right hand. So you're still pivoting your right foot. So think about that. Your right heel is going to come up a little bit so you can pivot and get those hands to clap, right? If you don't feel comfortable with your balance, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Get that hand around and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and open up big. All right, other direction. Twist, get those hands to clap and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and open up big. Also, you have your chair here, right? You can hold with one hand and just do one hand around. Okay, switch. Do one hand, hold onto the chair. Okay, all right, 10 in a row, ready? Let's go. One, open, two, open three open four five good six seven eight nine one more and ten good all right so for our step make sure you have room we're just doing 20 steps in a row holding on to the chair if you need it to take that big step or using your arms for a big step, starting to your right. You're ready, let's step one, together, other direction, two, three, four, five, step and look at your hand, six, look at that hand, seven, good, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, big step, 13, 14, 15, 16, God, keep going, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, okay, we're gonna do a, a quick stretch here. I'm gonna you hold on to your chair, okay? You're gonna take one step back. All right, if you're, I'll show a modification in a second. We're gonna stretch your calf, okay? So that heel stays flat. Heel stays flat, knee is straight. You're just gonna lean forward. So if you're standing, you're gonna hold the stretch. Keep it there, hold that stretch. If you're sitting, you're just gonna lift that foot up. You're gonna to try to point your toe up towards the ceiling to stretch your calf out and just hold that stretch like that, stretching your calf. So we're still holding here. 
All right, and you can even take your hips and kind of lean forward a little bit to get more of a stretch. Let's hold for five more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then let's switch. Other foot goes back. If you're sitting, switch to the other foot. Get that heel flat, and then this front knee kind of lunges for just a little bit, get a little bit more of a stretch in that calf. And we're gonna hold the stretch. Hold it here. 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then up. Good. Okay, we're moving on to a little bit of our cardio. So I'm going to have you um, use the towel if you want to, and then modify in your chair. We have about 45 seconds of each exercise. So the first one, using the towel, feet are wide apart. Same thing we did in sitting. So if you're sitting, we did this already. Keep your knees soft and it's just up like this, up, and then bend your knees to come down and up, all right? I mean, you don't have to bend your knees. You could do it straight, but I don't want you to hurt your back. That's more of a kind of a hamstring stretch. So definitely watch your back, bend your knees. We'll do that one first. The second one is what we did in sitting, but now we're standing. Third one is circles the other direction. Then I'll show you the rest as we get there. <laughs> All right. Um, modify, take a break if you need it, and then join us back up when you can, right? Um, all right. I'll just do a little music here. It won't be too loud. All right, so 45 seconds. Are we all ready, sitting or standing? All right, three. All right, here we go. Pick a direction. We're gonna go down and up big for 45 seconds, working our legs and our arms. Bend and up, bend and up. Good. Originally I had this set at a minute and I was like, ooh, I don't think we're gonna do a minute today. <laughs> You're welcome, I switched it to 45 seconds. <laughs> Good, keep going. So down and up big, down and up big. Good, 10 seconds, left, three, two, and rest. All right, here's our second one, sitting or standing. Again, you decide what range is up, 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 up. All right, Whew, rest those arms, huh? All right, let's get ready and go. So tap, up big, tap, up big. So we have 45 seconds. You decide how fast you want to go. It's a good balance exercise too. Good, tap, up big, tap, up big, good. Good job. Whew. Tap up. Keep those feet wide apart. If you don't want to lift, I should have said, you could just tap like this too. This is another option if you don't want to lift your knee up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, rest those arms, circle it up. Opposite direction as we did. Big circles the opposite direction of what you did the first time. These are soft. Three. Ready for three. Let's get ready. Two, one, and go. Down and up. Down and up. If you're sitting, we did this already. So getting those arms stretched out. Good job. Up. What's that? Working our legs and our arms today. Good. Keep going. 15 seconds. We got it. If you need to take a break, take a break and then join us back into it. Whew. 
three, two, and one. Ah. All right. Our arms don't have to lift. Now we're just starting in front. Okay, we're just squatting and squeezing and pushing out. So it's a squat, push forward. Squat, push forward. Let's start here. It doesn't matter where you start, actually. <laughs> so squat up. Squat. I kind of mix this up on you. It doesn't matter <laughs> as long as you're squatting and squeezing. <laughs> Whatever works for you, squat and squeeze. <laughs> I like that, I'm gonna call it squat, the squat and squeeze. <laughs> squat and squeeze, squat and squeeze. Good. If you're sitting, you're just pulling that towel back and squeezing. If you're sitting, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good. Good. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, now this is our number five, then we get to repeat. We have a little bit of a butt kick. So you're gonna set your feet wide and you're gonna bend and kick. Bend and kick. If you're sitting, just do a kick forward like this. Kick forward if you're sitting, all right? Ready? So butt kick, butt kick. We're gonna add the arms if you want. Add your arms if you want to. Add your arms. A little coordination too, right? You can just do this if you don't wanna lift your foot. Just do this. Good. Or bend, 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 bend. Good, keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. We get to repeat that. So we're going to start from the top. The first one was our big circle. So feet are wide, knees are soft. Pick a direction <laughs> to go. Three. All right, ready, let's go. Bend and come up, right? Maybe it's just here, that's okay. Just stay here. Or go up as big as you can. Whatever range you've got. Good, keep going. Good job. We've got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds. Our arms are going to feel it tomorrow, I think. This is supposed to be a stretch day. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right. It's our knee. So sitting or standing, knees come up like this, right? Or you can just do this if you want. Or it's up like this, all right? Keep those feet wide. Ready? Let's go. Tap up big. Tap up big. Good. Tap. Now remember, you can just tap it without lifting your foot up if you don't want to lift that knee up. Or lift, 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 lift. lift. Good. Lift, 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 lift. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Whew. All right. We're back to <laughs> we're back to our big circles the opposite direction. So remember which direction you went. We're gonna go the opposite direction. <sighs> Modify as you need to. Ready? Let's go. Bend and up big. We're making big circles with those arms. As big as you can get those circles. Good. Nice. 
Keep going. Big circles. Watch your back. Use your legs. Bend those knees. Good job. We're almost done with our cardio segment. Keep going. <laughs> 10 seconds. Got a couple more after this. Four, three, two, and one. <sighs> okay, my shoulders are feeling it now. All right. It's our butt kick. No, I'm sorry, our squeeze, squat, squeeze. So it's a squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. If you're sitting, just do your squeeze. And you can just do this in standing as well, right? Ready, go. Squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. You decide your pace. We're really coming up and thinking about big posture, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Squeeze, squat, squeeze, squat, squeeze. Good. Whew. Squeeze. 20 seconds. We got it. Almost there. Keep going. Good. Looking good, everybody. Use those leg muscles. Four, three, two, one. All right, last one. This is it. This is our butt kicks. Butt kicks. Butt kicks. Right? And then we're going to add, if you want, hands to the ceiling like this. Or you can just do like a rock like this if you want. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. Kick. Butt kick. If you're sitting, you're kicking your knee out straight. I forgot to show that again, but you're just straightening that knee if you're sitting. Kick. Kick. Here's the option if you don't want to lift that foot up. Just weight shift, weight shift, or butt kick. Butt kick. Good. All right, guys, this is it. Let's keep going. Finish strong. Finish strong. You got it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Whew. Good job, my arms. We have to do some arm stretches, right? Oh, my goodness. Good job, everybody. Let's just, if you're sitting or standing, let's just do some circles. Whew. One, two, three, four, five. All right, bring one arm across. I wasn't planning on such an arm workout today, but it just <laughs> happened that way. One, two, three, four, five, and then the other direction. And one, two, three, four, five. Good. All right, if you want to get down on the floor, we'll get on our backs. So I'll give you all a few seconds to get your mats out and get positioned on your back. Here. And so once you get on your back, we're gonna start with our power up of our chest. So, let me adjust my screen so you can see. You're going to be on your back. On your back, and we're going to lift your chest up. So if you're sitting, it's just going to be a lift up of your chest and sitting like this, okay? Otherwise, you're going to be on your back, knees bent or straight, whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm gonna put my legs straight. If your legs are straight, make sure your feet are spread out, okay? Head is on the mat or a pillow. You're gonna bring your hands up towards the ceiling, all right? Now push those elbows down into the mat. The head stays pushed into the mat. You're gonna lift your chest up as high as you can and bring it back down. And let's just do that one more time. Hands up to the ceiling, spread the fingers out. 
pull those hands down, push your elbows into the mat and lift that chest up as high as you can and then relax. Okay, leave your elbows pushed into the mat. We're just gonna do 10 in a row. Elbows and head push into the mat, chest comes up for 10. Ready, let's lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Okay, moving on to our rock. We're gonna do it a couple different ways. So what I'm gonna have you do is maybe if you're um, on the floor, bend your knees slightly if you can, starting with your right hand. Now this is a whole body movement. Your right hand is gonna reach up and away from you over to your right side, okay? Up and away, not across, up and away, and then come back to the center. Your left hand, use that right foot to push you towards that left side up and away, and then back to the center. So this is our rock. So we're gonna do that 10 times, and then we'll go across your body. If you're sitting, you're just gonna rock like this. Rock side to side like this if you're sitting. All right, so here we go. Let's go, let's count one down, other direction, two. So get that body up and out, three, and four, lift five, rocking and reaching, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, good. All right, so we were rocking and reaching away from our body. Now we're gonna reach across. So now this time, your right hand is gonna reach up and across over your left shoulder. So you get that back up off the floor, come down. Your left hand is gonna rock and reach up over your right shoulder and come down. So let's do 10 here, knees bent or straight. Ready, let's go. One, find a target, touch that target. Two, maybe three, for me, maybe it's a piece of dirt. Four, rock and reach. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I will say one thing, if you feel like you're in bed and you're stuck at the bottom of your bed and you need to move up to the front, like where your headboard is, that exercise we just did, if you do it long enough, it scoots you up towards the front of your bed. So, all right, let's do our twist. Open up those arms really big. We're gonna twist and clap for 10. So, it doesn't matter what side you start with. Ready, you're gonna twist over and clap those hands together. One, open big, other direction. Two, open, three, open, four, open, five, open, six, open seven, open, eight, open, nine, open, one more, 10, and open. Good, okay, now our step. So go ahead and adjust a bit. Bend those knees, the feet are flat. All right, let's add our arms to our step. So starting with your right foot, your right arm and right foot are gonna step to the right, back to the center. Left arm and left foot step to the left. Back to the center. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four. And then look at that hand. Five. Turn your head as you step. Six. Turn your head and look. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right. Of course, we always do a bit of a challenge. So if you want, you're gonna hold your bottom up and you're gonna step it out for 10. If you're sitting in the chair, just do your step to the side for 10. Okay, ready? Let's step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10 and down. All right, if you're on the floor, straighten your legs out. Try to get those D's as straight as you can, as long as you don't have any back pain. Bring your arms up above your head and we're gonna stretch your fingers out. Nice whole body stretch. So imagine someone's pulling on your feet, someone's pulling on your hands. Take a deep breath and let's hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Bring those hands down. Bring your knees up, feet together, knees together. Open up your arms to the side big, like that T. Both knees are gonna to fall to one side as far as you can go. So if you're sitting in the chair, both knees go to one side. If you're on the floor, hold the stretch, let both knees go down to the floor and just hold it there. This is a nice lower trunk stretch. Keep holding it there, I'm gonna show in sitting. Just If you're sitting, see if you can just get both knees to go to one side like this, as far as you can. All right, good, okay, bring those knees back to the center. And if you're on the floor, both knees are gonna go the other direction. Let both knees fall to the other direction. Lower trunk stretch. And let's just hold it here. 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then back to the center. Okay, if you're on the floor, I have a stretch challenge for you. <laughs> so if you're on the floor, open up your arms big. Here's what you're gonna try to do. You're gonna lift up the left foot and then keeping your hands flat, take that left foot and bring it over towards your right hand. See how far you can get that foot. Can that foot touch the floor? without lifting your hands up off the floor. So that lower trunk, low back, even the side of your leg, just do the best you can here and let's hold for 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then slowly bring it up, put it back down on the floor. Let's do the other direction. So right leg comes up, Try to keep those hands as flat as you can. That right foot's going to go over towards your left hand as far as you can go. Can you get it to touch the floor? That is quite a stretch, I must say. <laughs> so don't hurt yourself. Just feel the stretch. Shouldn't be, should not be painful. Well, maybe uncomfortable, but not pain. Let's hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10, and then slowly bring it back up. Knees are bent. All right, if you're on the floor, even if you're sitting, take one knee, bring it up to your chest. So you can do this in sitting too. One knee comes up to your chest. And let's hold the stretch for five. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down, the other knee comes up to your chest. Bring that knee in. It's a nice little back stretch, sitting or on your back and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. And down one more time each leg. Same thing, knee comes up to your chest. Pull it in and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Then the other leg, one more time. Knee comes up to your chest and hold. One, two, three, four, five and back down good job if you're on the floor carefully roll to your side and get back up and we're gonna head back into the chair so take your time getting up if you're on the floor one of the topics on friday at the symposium one of the doctors lecture was on um orthostatic hypotension which some of you may be dealing with. And then also about cognition. It was interesting how the hypotension can be related to the cognition part. So if you get a chance, once it's up on the YouTube, it was um, <laughs> maybe a little bit hard to understand, but it was good info. So make sure you're drinking lots of water. <laughs> Okay, let's 
let's head back to the chair. <sighs> Good job. We're going to stretch our hands out. So hands are here. We're just going to do our flicks, come back and flick one two kind of like our power up of our fingers three <laughs> power up those fingers four five six seven eight nine ten all right we're gonna rock the hands rock down and up one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10. All right, let's twist, twist up, twist down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Rest those arms for a second. And let's step, I step, we do this a lot, finger to the thumb, stepping it out. First finger to the thumb, open. Second finger to the thumb, open. Third, open. Fourth, open. Now the other direction, fourth, open. Third, open. Second, open. First, open and rest. Good, all right, bring those feet together, knees together. Put your hands on the opposite knee. I think we need to stretch our upper shoulders a little bit. All right, hold on to your knees. Pull your knees apart and let your head drop. All right, and then the further your knees can go apart, holding on to them, you're gonna feel that stretch in your upper back. So let's hold for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, up, feet apart, hands clasped together, push the hands forward. I'll turn them inside out, stretch the fingers. So I just cracked my fingers. <laughs> uh, good. Hold for a few more seconds, open up, clasp them behind you. Now push those hands down towards your bottom, stick that shoulder up and out, chest up and out, I should say. Shoulders come back and hold one two, three, four, five, and relax. All right, arms to your side. Let's take a couple deep breaths. Ready, breathe in. Blow it out. And last one, breathe in. Blow it out. Give yourself a hand. All right, great job, you guys. Stretch, <laughs> a little bit of work with the shoulders. Um, and, um, yeah, enjoy the day. It's a nice, nice class. Thank you. Walk.